Today I'm gonna be showing you guys the fastest way to grind guard tokens and for those of you who don't know, these two things are artifacts and when you get them you get discounts and you can basically discount the guard tokens to make it free but it takes a long time to get these jewels so I'm gonna teach you guys the fastest way to get these jewels. So as you can see here for the artifacts you need to donate a bunch of food units to whatever warden shrine you want to grind and I, I think Ejin, the Ejin warden is the best way to grind this because you only need to complete a donation of a thousand food units and you guys can grind this however you want to grind it. I'm just going to teach you guys the fastest way to deliver these food units and I'm going to show you where all the shrine locations are for each warden. Through this video I have a bunch of time steps in the description if you want to get to a specific part. And the first thing you want to do actually is get get a Uvius basically because it, it, it can swim, it can fly and it's really fast so you can deliver the food pretty quick. But I think the fastest way to grind is using the Ejin Warden Shrine because it only requires a thousand food donations. So the Uvius actually has a burrowing ability. You can use this burrowing ability to basically teleport between the carcasses and the shrine. So around the map you can see all these little carcass spawns obviously and you just want to Put your burrow right beside one of them, and I'm not going to use this one because it only has 98. So what you want to do is put a burrow right here using your ability. Then you want to just grab a chunk of the meat, and then you want to find the warden you're going to grind. So the warden we're going to grind is the Agent Warden, so we're going to go all the way somewhere over here. I'm just going to show you guys. Alright, so you go into the water over here. This is semi-aquatic, by the way. You want to get you want to get a UV probably. They're the best for grinding, and they're really fast. So you want to go down here. Right, so it's right about here. There's, you're gonna see a little hole here with a rock thing, and it's right here on the map. If you guys want to see, you go through it, and you're gonna be in the Eden Warden thingy. And all you want to do is just put the food right here, and you want to put your burrow too. Don't forget that. You want to put it right beside the shrine, so you can easily do it quickly. Where's my burrow? Okay, my burrow glitched, so I'm actually just gonna do that one more time. There we go. We have a little burrow here, so you can use this burrow to get to your carcass. Alright, so I believe my carcass was here at the mountains, so all you have to do is just grab a chunk, go to the burrow, and teleport back. And sometimes, because you're carrying the meat, it's going to be way harder to teleport. So what you want to do is just move around a little bit, and maybe get get really close, and move your camera. And eventually it's going to appear. You just want to spam E, so you can get there. So you just keep doing that, and then you go to the piece of meat. Now obviously I don't have a lot, but you want to find one with 300, and maybe you can place two burrows with two carcasses. So you can do 300 and 300, you can do them quickly. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. Just, yep, and that's basically it. It's really that simple for the Aegean Shrine. You just gotta grind this until 1000 and then it's gonna give you a 30% discount with the artifact. So for the people who wanna grind other shrines on land, for example, I'm gonna have a little map right here of all the Warden locations. Now I know it doesn't specify which ones they are, but I will show you exactly which ones right now. Alright, so the Ardor Warden is over here, so you just gotta fly through, and thankfully this creature is really fast, so you can just get there in a few seconds. It's at it's uh, at this little thing. It's easy to spot, because it's literally popping out, and you just offer your food here, and there's also a carcass over there if you want to use it. You don't need to use your burrow for this, I'm pretty sure, because they're really close to each other, so. Alright, so the next one is the Gora Warden Shrine, which is actually inside the volcano. So, as you can see, I'm on the left side of the volcano, and all you want to do is go through the volcano from this entrance, and you just gotta fly through, it's really not that hard, and you're gonna be at the Gara Shrine. So the Angelic Warden Shrine is right about here, you can spot it by, it's just like a, right above this carcass. You gotta go over here, you're gonna see a little monster looking cave. Right, it's over here, so it's actually way above the carcass over here, it's, it's almost at the edge of the map. So you can see this little thing, there's a two, it's, it I mean it looks like a little monster, come on. You can tell by the, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, you go inside here, and you can actually go through this wall. And there we go, there's the Angelic Warden Shrine. I don't know why they're so hidden. And the Verdant Warden Shrine is actually pretty easy to get to. It's right here at this little island, I don't remember what that was called. But yeah, you can spot it by this little sand place over here in the middle. And if I just land here, you're gonna see the Verdant Shrine. And the Novus Warden Shrine, it's actually near the Aegean Warden Shrine, which is... Oh, okay. So it's... So the Aegean Warden Shrine is like right here, and I'm pretty sure that's where the Novus Warden is too. You just gotta go all the way up. You just gotta go all the way up to the highest island and you gotta find the Novus Warden Shrine. For the Hellion Warden, you can spot it by this little mess over here. You gotta get down over here. And you're gonna see a bunch of tunnels, you gotta go into this one. And you're gonna see a bunch of holes over here. You just go into any hole and over here, this is the Hellion Warden. Alright, so the next is Burial Warden, and this is actually pretty easy to get to, too, it's in the wind, it's in the thingy tundra. You can spot it by this little hole, hole of mountain, I don't know what you could call it, but... And you should see a big opening 
that is like the only blue place in the entire map so yep here's the real warden and the last one is the Egypt warden which i already showed at the start of the video so that's basically just how you grind gortokus you put burrows beside carcasses and you just continuously grind them with uvius and i'm not sure if this is 100 percent accurate but i heard they're gonna make the chances of getting the artifacts only 30 percent instead of 100 percent i think it's 100 percent right now so you guys should get grinding so you guys should get grinding before everything changes. Alright, so I'm just playing as a Gartokus over here and I'm gonna try to kill this thing. I'm a baby Gartokus. Let's see if I can kill this. Okay, I probably can because he's AFK. This this bite's really slow, but it's very strong. I don't know why he's even fighting back. <laughs> but, oh god, it's a blood moon. I don't want to lose my Gartokus, honestly. So I'm gonna try to play it safe over here. I uploaded- oh no. I actually made a full video on Gartokus if you guys want to watch that. Maybe you want to see if it's worth it or not, but in terms of strength, this is very worth it. This is one of the strongest creatures in the game, and it weighs like 30,000 or something. And I think it's also worth it in terms of value. You can sell this thing for like 15,000 in the trade realm right now, so... And this creature has very high demand right now. It might lose value, honestly, in the future, but... Oh, oh no, 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 please no, please no, please no. I'll give you all my Robux. I don't know what to give you, honestly. I bought this stored Gartokus for 600 troops. Please no. Please no. I'm nice. I'm nice, I'm nice, I promise you. Hello. No, no, I lost my guard tokens, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> That's okay because I have a full grown. Okay, this is not full grown. <laughs> I thought it was. Oh no, you have to be kidding me. Why are they, okay. Okay, oh, this is the Jolt Gordon is saving me. He's actually, he's actually helping me. Okay, that Jolt in the hell isn't even fighting back. I guess free food for me. I feel like that Jolt Gordon is gonna kill me because it killed my guard tokens. Why isn't he, why did he stop attacking? Is he like low or something? Should I finish him off? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, is he like baiting me or something? He has to be baiting me. They were baiting me. Oh, these guys. They were baiting me. They wanted me to attack the guy. Oh, no. Leave me alone, please. Super Angelic Warden. You think you're cool because you have a, an Angelic Warden? Please, no. Okay, I think he left me alone. No, did it. No, did it. Wait, wait. I'm gonna hide. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought that would have worked. Wait, wait, I'm gonna do something pretty cool. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I, I can do the hiding thing again. I'm gonna hide. Come on. No! Hello there, shadow thingy. Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Oh no. Oh, that bird just stole its meat. <laughs> I just distracted him. Alright, hello there. Oh, why is everything trying to kill me? Do people have- You know what? I'm gonna earthquake you. I'm gonna try to kill this thing, actually. Okay, earthquake. Now it's slow. Kill it. It's trying to attack the burial. Hello there. Alright, I'm gonna kill this thing. I feel like I'm gonna die because of its defensive bleed before I even kill it. But I deal bleed too, so... Oh no, why is everything going for me? <laughs> okay, I teleported to escape. I think I'm good. Oh my god, there's a huge war going on over here. They're all trying to kill the Boreal. No, don't kill me, Boreal! I feel like that Boreal is nice. I feel so bad. Come on, Boreal, you got this. No! No! Oh. 